The Timberline 4410 is powered by the Kohler electric start 30 horse gas engine. We've added a tachometer hour meter to the saw. This shows engine RPM when the mill is running and the total engine hours when it's stopped. The saw travel speed is controlled from the operator position and has infinitely variable speed in both forward and reverse. The saw has dual 13 inch edger blades. The top blade is adjustable from 3.5 inches to 10 inches above the bottom edger. A crank out stabilizer helps eliminate sideways mill shake when sawing. This lumber return brings the board to the operator. It can be locked out of the way if desired. Our easy to use tooth grinder sharpens the saw teeth right on the mill. An extra set of teeth are standard with each mill. Our ruler and pointer system automatically allow for the blade curve and provide for precise control of the board width. Once the log is clamped in place with the spring-loaded dogs, we're ready to raise the mill to the correct height and saw. The first several cuts on this log will be to flatten off the top. With the bottom edger blade doing most of the cutting, the log is soon flat across the top and the mill has been lowered to begin the next series of cuts. Here we're sawing planks that are two and a half inches thick and six inches tall. One cut after another is made as we work our way across the log. When the saw is making the return trip to the operator, it brings the just sawn plank back with it. After starting the saw on the next cut, the operator can stack the just sawn piece, optimizing production. After finishing this series of cuts, we've now lowered the saw and are starting the next layer. With cutting speeds variable from 5 to 40 feet per minute, the operator can saw at the best rate for each type of wood. The 4410 sawmill can cut up to 4 inches wide and 10 inches high. The width is determined by how far over the mill is moved for each cut. Next you'll see a series of cuts showing a 1x8, a 2x8, and two 2x4s. The 4410 can easily cut two-sided house logs. First, one side is flattened by making several passes. Next, the log is turned 180 degrees and the process repeated. This gives us a log flattened top and bottom, leaving a round side for both the inside and the outside. If you want the inside to be smooth, a third side is cut. Here's the completed house log. Moving the mill is simple. Just bolt on the transport axle and attach the hitch. Thank you for this opportunity to demonstrate the Model 4410 for you. We hope you'll consider how this sawmill could fit into your lumber cutting needs.